All right, we're joined here with Bear Best High School head coach Denise Richards. Coach, if you would uh, introduce your four students. Sure. Right here next to me, I have senior Kennedy Lewis, and then junior uh, Olivia uh, Abbott, junior Callie Riley, and junior Cora Blackwell. Coach, if you just want to give your thoughts on today's match. Uh, we knew coming in that Blum is like the real deal, and uh, uh, we came in with a game plan. We knew that this was our first trip to state and that we would be somewhat overwhelmed in the beginning and to expect that and then it would help us overcome it quick. And I think it might have taken a little bit longer, uh, 15 points in or so, and uh, we never really got into a good, our, our good rhythm and it's just because Blum is so great. Uh, they kept attacking at us and kept us out of our normal uh, offensive rhythm for sure. Um, but I just told the kids, I said, this feels like a loss today, but uh, for the program, it's a win. Uh, you know, just like last year, we got eliminated at the regional finals. And, and you know, so then this year we're fighting to get here. And so then next year we'll be fighting for one step further, hopefully. And so, uh, you know, it, it's taken all of us, um, whether we saw court time or not court time this season, you know, at the state tournament, everybody had a role. And, and I was proud of every single one of them. Uh, you know, they, they fight till the end, and that's what they did today as well. Uh, Coach Bryce, the Waco paper, uh, you mentioned obviously Blum kind of jumped on y'all early. Uh, you know, was some of that jitters and did you feel like, uh, you know, y'all were able to get overcome that later on? Uh, to a certain extent, yes, jitters for sure at the beginning when we had our 15 minutes of court time yesterday and here, you know, talk about depth perception as well. Uh, when there's so much space to the wall and so much space above you, that depth perception, um, it affects volleyball more than other sports and big venues, I think. And so we talked about that. I think it was a combination jitters at the beginning, as well as the adjusting to the size of the facility that you're in uh, track to be able to track the ball. Um, but again, all the credit to Blum and Coach McPherson. Uh, you know, she's got a great program built over there and uh, they were able to just keep attacking at us. For any of the players, uh, you know, what's this experience been like? And, you know, just to, to be here and, you know, to have the kind of crowd you have. Um, to even just be here this far, especially the senior, um, it, it feels amazing just with being with these girls for so long. Um, and our crowds are amazing always. We, I mean, it doesn't matter if we travel 200 miles. And you know the other team is a home team. Uh, we'll we'll bring a crowd, and we love our school and our community and our fans for that reason. Uh, they they're they're willing to travel with us all over. Uh, this question is for any of the players. Uh, talk about your journey throughout the season to get this far. Um, close knit group, Bond Del Here. Um, this journey has been unreal. There's been a lot of ups and just a couple downs, but. Being able to make this kind of history for our program is just, it's been an honor. Like, I'm so thankful for all the girls on the team. And this journey has just been amazing. Definitely one of the time. Coach touched on the, the crowd and the community support. Uh, some of the players have answered. You want to talk, talk about that support that you get from your fellow classmates and town members? Um, well, we really appreciate everyone. They all come out, like, like she said, no matter where we go, they're always there with us. And it's crazy. This year, just at the regional tournament. And it is only, it's very close to our hometown. And we like packed the stands and like the whole entire home side of the school, like there was not an open seat at all. It was just amazing to see. And it really like, it pumps us up too as well. Like, especially when the student section, the boys get into it, like in our warm ups, when like if we get a kill and some of them are just warming out, it just, it just brings the energy up to the fans and it really helps a lot. One question for one of the juniors. Uh, talk about the senior leadership and the example that they've set for y'all throughout the season and for this program. Uh, well, for Kennedy, she's really been a leader on this team. And she's one of the team captains, obviously. But I feel like as a senior, she's done a great job of really telling us what to do, helping us out. She's just really been there for us and helping us and knowing the rotations and the defense. She's really good about that. And, Staying positive about it. She's never negative. She never yells at you. She's always super helpful in what she does. Thank you, ladies. Congrats on the good season.
All right, John Fair, one high school head coach, Warren McPherson, coach. If you'll introduce your first student athletes. Uh, senior Gracie Allen, sophomore Ruby Rumor, and sophomore Addison Willingham. Coach, if you'll just start us off with your thoughts on today's match. Um, the biggest thing going into today that we were kind of worried, or I was worried about, was we played them early in the season and just underestimating them a little bit and thinking that we were just going to walk in here and take care of business. And so I just really emphasized this week that we can't overlook them and that they are a good team and they're going to, they've been working all season probably to think about this moment and be playing us again. And so I, I thought they did a great job coming in and being focused and taking care of business. Lauren Price, good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah, uh, congratulations. Um, you mentioned, you know, just not wanting to come out complacent because you beat them, you know, before. Uh, to start like y'all did, you know, 4-0 right off the bat, you know, Addison's got like three kills. Uh, you know, just how big was that just to kind of maybe put that behind? Uh, I thought it was huge. And, uh, you know, all year we use the coin toss, we've served, we've picked to receive knowing that our passing and hitting is good. And so in that moment, we won the coin flip and we got to choose receive. And uh, that's exactly what we've been working for all season is to have that start and to show teams that, you know, it doesn't matter if you get the serve first, we're going to do what we need to do and take care of business. And so uh, I thought we did exactly what we needed to do. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Gracie defense big for y'all. Uh, you know, I mean, it just that that's unusual for a team to pick receive off the bat. You know, I mean, uh, just how big has that been for you guys this year? I mean, I have so much confidence in my team and everything. It's it's been huge just knowing that we can have them serve at us and immediately get a great pass and kill it and just keep going until we just have to turn the ball back over. But most of the time, we're Often enough, and we're strong enough that it takes a while before we have to go back. So. Uh, and for any of the players, you know, just the chance to play for a state championship. I mean, this is what you guys work for. What does that mean to you? It's, I mean, for me personally, this is my third appearance here, and we got third my sophomore year, second last year, and we just really are trying to get that first place. It's, it's, countdown, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's so huge, and we, we have had such a great season together. And, I mean, many people will argue, oh, man, that must suck for you have to be the only upperclassman. But I, I honestly love being around these girls, and I love and cherish them so much, and it's, it's been a great season. As you were locked in, it looked like. I mean, uh, you know, just yeah. how uh, how excited were you to play today? Um, I really, I picture it as every game is just another step in my career because mm -hmm. I want to play while well, in college, obviously. But every game is just finishing out my career and like getting closer to my teammates, really. So every game is just as important as the last. It doesn't matter if it's state championship or first district game, but. I try to come out focused every game, especially when I'm nervous. But I didn't really feel any nerves today. I felt pretty locked in. And Ruby, uh, you guys served aggressively too. I mean, you had some good aces there. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, is that part of uh, again what y'all do well? Uh, yes, we try to serve aggressive all the time. That's what we work on a lot in practice. Um, it's the first play, and I feel like it's a big part of the game because if you don't have a good first play, then it just ruins your whole mentality. Like serving is a very big deal and serving aggressive is just a whole nother mindset because you just have to know that you could either go and serve a great serve or you can miss it and you have to keep staying strong and like you just have to be aggressive and know that you can miss and you can pace. So it's a good part of the game. And Laura, what's just your message to them going into the morrow? Um, you know, we've been here before and we had a different outcome. And, you know, this time we're not going to just be here. We're going to win it all. And uh, I think we're prepared and I think we're ready. I have all the confidence in them. Thank you, ladies. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.